Island 36 Italy 12 If there's a black market for videos in the NRL, Island assistant coach Brett White's dossier on Italy and New Sydney Roosters fullback James Tedesco could probably fetch a pretty penny. Share share on Facebook share share on Twitter tweet link Irish flanker Liam K posted a hat trick. Photo, AAP the existence of the tactical edit emerged as Ireland defied debilitating heat and the odds to give the World Cup its first upset, beating fans at Italy 36-12 at Barlow Park in Cairns on Sunday. To achieve the result, the Wolfhounds almost completely neutralised Tedesco we had a plan. How good was the man at fullback today? Or how good were we at containing him? Coach Mark Aston said of Tedesco he's one of the best fullbacks in the world and we contained him by being smart, kicking at the right place Brett White played in the 2013 World Cup for us. He's had all the stats, he's been showing clips of how he, Tedesco, runs, how he plays and all that, as he has with all the NRL players. Advertisement Titan requests Kodai Show Al Ad Push, at spot minus 300 extension 250, pose 3. We executed the plan to perfection Ireland's 20 to a lead after 29 minutes had the Italians, boasting a number of North Queenslanders used to the conditions, shocked. Two of the tries had been scored by Toronto Wolfpack winger Liam Kay on debut. You will now receive updates from League HQ Newsletter. League HQ Newsletter get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Italy scored either side of the break and there seemed a looming inevitability about their revival. But two scoring opportunities were blown, Ireland held out for consecutive sets and went the length of the field only to have a try disallowed by the video ref while the Atsara were celebrating that the decision. Ireland launched themselves at the try line with Michael Morgan and then Kyle Ammer helping themselves to touchdowns that ensured the boil over Italy lost Jack Johns, son of Matthew, to an arm injury in the second. Hopefully we get good news on it, said coach Cameron Sire Aldo H. He'd be pretty shattered if he was to miss the rest of the game. He's a real good kid. He prepared pretty well for this game. Ireland captain Liam Finn described the heat wave conditions as the toughest in which he had ever played. The hardest decision is whether to have a drink or take a breath. He said Aston said killing off the Italian revival was one thing but it was the 20 to a lead that impressed him most. The first 40 minutes, as I said a half time, were probably the proudest I have ever been as a coach of any team certainly the last six when I have been coach of Ireland that ranks as the best performance, without a shadow of a doubt Finn added, we came up here and we said we were going to perform. I don't think many people listened the Wolfhounds play Papua New Guinea in Port Morrisby next Sunday. We talked about this being the semi-final, the coach said. Next week's the final Island 36, Liam K2, George King, Carl Ammer, Michael Morgan, Louis McCarthy Scars book tries. Liam Finn 6 goals, defeated Italy 12, Justin Castellaro, Nathan Malone tries, Josh Maitalato 2 goals, at Barlow Park, Cairns.